Okay. Can you guys hear me? This is horrible lighting, but I'm in a hallway of this rental house that my family is in. So oh no, you're frozen again. Dang it. Hold on. I was on the A1, but should I? Uh, there she is. Well, I guess there's no banishment ceremony. You'll die. <laughs> is this one okay? <laughs> Corey, welcome. Hi. There's, oh. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, Brett, did you seriously not know that was a Pokemon? So I knew it was Pokemon. I, I more so was asking what the name was. Oh. Okay. Yeah, my I didn't know it was. It's, but I, I figured you'd get there. It is the first Pokemon, by the way. Oh, uh, see, I thought that would have been Pikachu. I no. thought it was a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a generic dragon. Mm -hmm. I think I have one of those somewhere. <laughs> it's like, I do have one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, queen size bed full of stuffed animals. I'm 29, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Cameron knows who Bulbasaur is. <laughs> How is this? Good so far. Yeah, okay. Good so far. Dad, stand by. Um, <laughs> okay, guys. Welcome to your second banishment ceremony. Um, you guys know the flow of how this will go. Um, I will ask you some questions, we will chat, and then when it comes time to vote, you will slack me directly with who you'd like to vote for. Um, so to begin with, Casey, I wanna ask you, you know, your team was here last time. You guys were at the banishment ceremony and it was a unanimous vote. So seemingly you guys were all on the same page. So how do you take it from here when now you can't all be on the same page because someone has to go home? It's hard. It's really hard to know what to do. You've just got to trust that the people that you're talking to are telling you the truth. And I guess just move forward with that. All you can do is trust. Sure. So, um, Lisa, you know, I want to ask, Akash did not do great in the last, the first challenge. So seemingly when he got voted off, it was to make your team stronger. But now you guys lost again. Are you still trying to retain the strength for the team so that you guys don't have to return back here? Or is it purely just like what's going to be best for the game? Who was that too? Because you kind of... Lisa, to Lisa. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hold on, you always ask me this when there's an airplane. Okay, so it's pretty much to retain the harmony of the group um, from what I think we're feeling, um, at least from what I'm feeling. So that's where we're kind of going with this, with this vote. Okay, um, and also just like guys, raise a hand if you can't hear me and then I'll know to redo it. Um, so Aaron, I want to ask, you know, what were the spirits going into the second challenge? Um, you know, the spirits, the spirits were alive. We definitely <laughs> were looking to win. Um, you know, I think we wanted to win, but I think I would be lying if I said we weren't prepared to lose. Um, we had talked about losing, um, I think, and during the... I think we felt we were losing um <laughs> but yeah I mean I, I feel like we were all, we were all ready to go to banishment if we had to last night we we were we were ready we were ready to lose so you were ready for an instant you already had plans in place for an instant ceremony I think everyone everyone had a plan as far as what they would do if we had to go to banishment last night yes wow so hearing that you know Jerry I'm gonna ask did did plans shift from yesterday of what you would have done had you gone? Um, yeah, because you threw a twist at us and naturally we had to adjust, but um, you're frozen. Oh, but- um, I can hear you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I feel like you, even in regular banishment, you come in with a plan and things, you know, either change on the fly or change an hour before the day of. So I, th I think it's, you have to constantly be aware of everything and be juggling multiple things at once. Sure, so Ryan, I will ask you, you know, we announced the twist, kind of what was the reception of when you found out someone from the opposing team was gonna join you guys? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. That's like such a complicated feeling. <laughs> <laughs> because on the one hand you're like yay a new person and then on the other hand you're like well we don't want to tell Corey like all the secrets or the trials and tribulations of Mora Mora you know sure so Brett you know it is kind of six one way half a dozen another if you work with Corey he's a number for you and if you make it to the merge here's someone you've built a rapport with but on the other side of things now your whole team might know that you've spoken to this person. How do you kind of walk that line or balance it and decide what to do? Oh, you're muted, you're muted, you're muted. To me, the most challenging aspect is the fact that he's uh, uh, with our group. I, I'm not as concerned about what the other team is finding out right now. What I'm more concerned about is I'm still in a place where I'm learning to trust these people and I'm learning who I'm supposed to work with even in my own team. So now to bring a totally new outsider into that, uh, it just puts a wrench in, in your um, understanding of who to continue trusting, I'd say. Sure, so Allison, when you heard the twist, how were you feeling about knowing someone was gonna be coming and joining your Slack? Well, like, I was bummed the spinning wheel didn't work. I was excited for that part. <laughs> it did work. It landed on Corey. Oh, but we couldn't, at least I couldn't see it. So I was, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, I think that um, in a way this game to me is more like Big Brother. Like it's really expect the unexpected. And I think if you look at the YouTube channel, I think everyone's shocked. I think Corey's shocked, like that it was happening so soon. So I think the wheels are just, you know, they're in motion about how is this going to affect us? How is it going to affect our team dynamic? It's something interesting to kind of shove us with when we have just lost too. Like it was kind of like um, taking us while we're down. But um, yeah, I mean, you just have to roll with it. That's what this whole game's about. So Erin, does it make you nervous to hear that Allison is admitting that she's going back and watching the YouTube and watching how the challenges or banishment ceremonies play out? Um, yeah, that's honestly, I did know that she was doing a little bit of that because she's definitely shared um, the things she's learned with our group. So um, I think everyone is pretty aware that Allison is checking out checking out the YouTube channel and she's trying to keep us all up to date. And I'm no I'm not doing that. So I'm, I'm thankful that someone is and is cluing me in. So Corey, I have so many questions for you, but to begin with, I just want to hear what your initial reactions were to joining this team. Did you, you know, you can give as much or as little away as you want to. Was it a group decision to send you here? Did you volunteer? Like how, walk me through it all. I did not volunteer. Um, I literally typed into our Slack, I shouldn't go because I didn't compete. And somehow that turned into the reason why I should come here. Um, and then you started counting down and we all know what happened, so. So, and how did you feel when you first arrived on the, like, the team's channel? Oh, like, straight panic, 100%. <laughs> like, I didn't re like, I didn't fully realize what was happening until, like, I was dropped in a new Slack channel and my old friends were gone. And I was like, oh, I didn't understand the parameters of this because we were all panicking. And did you feel any sort of excitement, though? Because you could, as I asked, you know, when I asked Brett, like, you could be getting to know other people, and this could be useful to you if you make it further. But also, then you come back, and your whole team might be like, Corey, what'd you find out? Corey, what do you know? Who did you talk to? That whole sort of thing. Um, I mean, it's exciting. Like, as a viewer, I would have loved this. For me, I was a little bit relieved when you were like, we're going to go to a wheel, because I was like, oh, maybe that I don't have to deal with all of that. Um, and then, you know, karma. So, um, Jerry, I'm now going to talk about uh, how the challenge actually went. Because even if we had gone head to head, I think the only one that round that would have been won would have been your round. Did you feel like that put a target on your back at all because you helped your team? Or is it just like, I just need to help my team right now. We need to not lose. I mean, I didn't, I didn't come into that challenge with, with any sort of strategy. Um, I, I admit it to a few people, I download those apps where you just kind of like make words and then I delete them after a day because they get so boring. Um, but I know I didn't, I didn't come in with a strategy. I just, I mean, who knows what a Venn is? Do you think I was, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I was doing the best I could. Sure. So, you know, something that is interesting though, when your team loses is it does show you 
if your allies are with you or not. It does show that. The other team is not currently getting tested in this way. Ryan, do you kind of appreciate that at all because you're able to firm up and know who's working with you or against you? Yeah, I think it is the one silver lining to a banishment ceremony because they suck. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, we're all talking and we're like, well, actually, like every vote, you kind of are like, okay, yeah, I can trust these people more and more, which is, which is like nice. And like, it's funny, like we all, like all seven of us voted out a kosh. And like, I remember us all being like, I'm nervous because it's like the day before, or like during the day, you're like, is this, what's going to happen? Are people going to flip? But then it's like, oh no, we all like did it. And so I'm hoping it's kind of like a similar thing today. Sure. And you know, you bring up an interesting point, Lisa, your name was written down last time, but it was only written down by the person who went home. So do you feel nervous at all? Like your name's on the chopping block? Or are you just like, you know what, that was one person and now he's off the team. So I don't need to fret. Well, like, I'm not too worried because I mean, he was the only one that wrote my name down. So obviously, like he couldn't either convince people or maybe he just kind of picked the name because you know at the time it kind of felt like he might have given up so it just I think he just picked the name and maybe just picked the loudest and I'm pretty loud I think it's my Mexican voice this voice <laughs> um so you know you bring up an interesting point because you are essentially an obvious target, right? You said you're loud and you said you like to talk, but on the other hand, you can really be used as a shield in that way because you might seem like an obvious vote out and why would we want to lose an obvious vote out? Um, Brett, is that something you guys think about or worry about? Like, is it purely just, I want this person gone or are you thinking a few steps ahead of like, if I make it further, this person will be a good shield for me? I think one of the hardest aspects of this game is at what point do you transition? At, one, at what point do you start betraying alliances? At what point do you start making a move that people wouldn't expect? Um, so I, I think that's the challenging part of what you're asking is it, there's so much pros for both sides of that. You just have to decide when the right time is. Fair enough. So Casey, you know, I, I brought it up in previous seasons and I always get yelled at, but I have to bring it up anyways. Pre Corey joining this team, there were four women and three men. Are there discussions about a gender, you know, alliance? Um, no, I haven't heard of any gender alliances, but that doesn't mean that they're not happening. That just means I haven't heard about them. So sure. far, it's just who's best. So far, it's just who's? So far, it's just about who you vibe with. Like, who, who do you initially trust? Who do you initially get along with best? And then you just kind of go from there. That makes sense. So Allison, you know, last question I'm going to ask, or second to last question. You, you were immune at last banishment ceremony. So are you feeling more nervous because people knew that you were capable to win that, which was great, and people could come to you, but now you're without that protection? Uh, yeah, not to sound like a broken record like last time, but like last time, yes, I felt good about it. This time, yes, I mean, I don't feel good about it. Um, I mean, you always like to have that sort of protection if you feel like you need it. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see what goes down. So my last question is going to go back to Corey. You know, Corey, did, did people welcome you with open arms? Are they wanting to work with you? Are you going to be able to not make waves? Or are we just going to see how the vote sorts out? And you might have been out of the loop and therefore showing your cards of who you think should go home. Oh, I was f fully out of the loop. They did a really good job of like locking it down and giving me almost nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, I did sort of reach out and be like, hey, I don't want to rock the boat. So like, I would like to vote with the majority so that I don't create an enemy. But um, yeah, they did a really good job of locking it down. I think it's just because they voted unanimously last time. So they knew that they could do it again and leave me out. And they didn't have to come to me because I haven't voted with my team yet. So I have really nothing to offer. We don't, I don't know anything about the loyalties on that side either. So sure. we're kind of at a stalemate. And you know, I actually have one more question about that because, you know, 
I'm going to ask Ryan, he, you know, Corey could be used as a number. He could just be used as a number to help make this vote easy, help make it happen. But in doing that, then you are showing your cards. Are people just like, oh, well, we're still two teams against each other and Corey will vote how Corey's going to vote? Yeah, I think it's Corey, as of this point, is like too risky to let him know anything because if someone knows information then they could blow up your game or like an alliance's game and like you also don't want Corey to know going back to his team and talking to his team and getting anything any dirt on us so it's just it's just like a bow of respect I think we both like all of us gave each other um and we just moved on Fair enough. Okay, so with that, it is time to vote. When I say your name, please slack me directly who you would like to vote for. Um, we're going to begin with Lisa. Lisa, please send me who you'd like to vote for. <laughs> Ryan, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Jerry, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Corey, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Aaron, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Allison, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Casey, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Brett, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Does anyone have an immunity that they would like to use now would be the time. Okay, I will now read the votes. Once I do, the contestant's name who has the most votes will be banished from the island. Please take out your phones and turn your flashlights on. Oh yeah, Corey can't go home, so he doesn't have to do a flashlight. <laughs> um, okay, the first vote is for Lisa. That's one vote, Lisa. Second vote, Lisa. That's two votes, Lisa. Third vote, Lisa. That's three votes, Lisa. Fourth vote, Brett. That's one vote, Brett, three for Lisa. Fifth vote, Lisa. That's four for Lisa, one for Brett. Second person voted out of Quarantine Island and banished is Lisa M. Lisa, do you have Very anything well. you'd like to say? That's a great birthday present. <laughs> um, Lisa, we so enjoyed having you. You were a fan for last season. The producers adore you. And also, if everyone could unmute, um, let's all wish Lisa a happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Lisa. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Okay, thank you all. Um, you guys can head back to Slack. Corey will be put back in. Happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> and, and Lisa will be banished off the island. I will see all of you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to watch the post show, it's going to be Mary Holland on tonight with Kat. You can check out our Instagram live for that. Okay, that thanks all. Have a good night. <laughs>